welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosehill here, always trying to find interesting new things in the greater Jerusalem area. You may have got from some of my videos so far that there is something of a cost of living crisis going on in Israel. Jerusalem is booming, there is construction everywhere, but many Israelis are finding the cost of Jerusalem and Tel Aviv simply too much. People are moving to London and New York and finding that it's cheaper. People are looking for alternative places in Israel and one such alternative place that is booming faster than they can build houses to accommodate new residents is the town of Tzor Hadassah where I'm currently standing in front of its municipal centre. Now it may not look like much in this footage but this town has a population of 11,000 with plans to add 15,000 new residents in the in the next few years. There is a downtown area with a local Italian uh, restaurant and this place on a Friday morning although you wouldn't know it from where I'm standing is absolutely thronged with life. People from Jerusalem, this, this uh, town is located only 10 kilometers from Jerusalem. Lots of people here commuting into Jerusalem for work, also commuting to, uh, to Tel Aviv. And to learn more about why young people are moving here, especially those working in Tel Aviv and the center of Israel, we spoke to Nate Dubin, who also goes by the name of Abu Jibril, a local resident, to understand more about his life here in Sur Hadassah. My name is Nate Dubin, also known sometimes as Abu Jibril. I've been a resident of Tzur Hadassah for the last four years, since 2018. What attracted me to live here is the, uh, the, the setting of the uh, community. It's, we're in the middle of the uh, Judean mountains, hills, whatever you want to call them. A lot of uh, nature reserves around us, a lot of green space. It's a beautiful, we're at high elevation of around 750 meters, so there's excellent weather all year round. Well, today it's cold. but. That's what you get. Community is very uh, close knit, very, very supportive, very nice. Everyone knows each other. I know that guy too. <laughs> I actually work far away from here in uh, Herzliya in the in the uh, high tech or technology sector. Uh, a lot of people here in the community do work in the in the center of Israel, as we call it. Train from Beit Shemesh, which is an 18 minute drive away. There's also buses, and many people take the train from there. I'll tell you this, everyone who lives here wants a door closed behind them. They want it just to stay as it is and um, and any additional people who move in are unwelcome. So um, that being said, we moved in a few years ago and you know the older uh, people who have been here for longer were uh, not too happy about the expansion of the of the uh, of the community. To someone thinking about living in Suridas instead of Jerusalem or Tel Aviv, what, why would you tell them to move here? It's a completely different lifestyle. It's you have to want to live in a pastoral setting, and be willing to give up on a lot of conveniences to live here. If you uh, are raising a family, it's a great place for kids to grow up. If you are looking, if you're a nature lover, it's a great place for that. But you give up on convenience. You're far away from the economic center of the country, far away from the cultural center of the country. Um, and depending where your, your your network of family and friends live, you might be far away from them as well. So if you're considering any kind of city life, then this is absolutely not the place for you.